All right, another momentum problem. We have a 1200 kilogram cannon fires a 100 kilogram shell at 35 meters per second in the positive X direction. What is the recoil velocity of the cannon? So when I first read this, I was like, what the hell is recoil velocity? But um, it's just gonna be what pushes back on you. It's like a gun, when you fire a gun, the gun kind of pushes back, makes you recoil. And so that's what they wanna know. So let's draw a picture. We have, um, okay, this is the first, this is the first scene. All right, so here is gonna be X initial. We have a cannon, okay? The cannon, um, let's see, and the bullet is inside the cannon, okay? 1200 kilograms good on the units 100 kilograms for the bullet good on the units and shell at 35 meters per second in the x direction so initially this is the picture that we're looking at right that means that velocity initially of the bullet right is zero and velocity initial of the cannon is zero so that's tricky because just by the wording it doesn't let you know that they started off like this now for the second scene of this horror film we have the cannon fires so this is the cannon here it fires the the bullet that way right the 100 kilogram bullet and the velocity that it's traveling at which is the final one is equal to 35 meters per second so that's the distinction you got to make so by firing it it pushes the block or the cannon back right into an x final here like covers this distance and this is the recoil okay it goes back this much what is the velocity final for the cannon right that's what we want to know so it was here, so this is initially, everything is at zero, and they don't tell you that. So that's like what you gotta kind of uh, understand, the first scene. Then the second scene, it fires the cannon. I mean, it fires the, the bullet out of the cannon. So the bullet's flying, and it's flying at the final velocity of 35 meters per second, and then the cannon recoils back. What is the velocity it's recoiling at? All right, perfect. So now let's use the conservation of momentum. So it's like the conservation of energy. I'm gonna write momentum initially is equal to the momentum final. All right, key, just like the energy initial is equal to energy final thing. Um, in, initial momentum is what? I'm gonna write it out, but it should be obvious. Momentum uh, V, MV of the bullet, right, plus mv of the cannon and this is mass of the cannon this is mass of the bullet all right is equal to the mass so initially we're going to look at what's going on here so initially i'm going to put a little i here so initial velocity of the block of the bullet initial velocity of the cannon okay that's this side mass times velocity final of the bullet bullet uh, Facebook all right plus mass of the cannon velocity final of the cannon okay so mass velocity mass velocity this is the block I mean this is the bullet this is the cannon initially this is the bullet this is the cannon finally these two are zero right because this is how it started so that's the tricky part I mean that's really the only hard the hardest part of this problem is to understand that then from there, you have these two, which are equal to zero, right? But you have everything. This is the mass of the bullet is 100 kilograms. Um, velocity Facebook, velocity final of the bullet is 35. Okay, and then plus the mass of the cannon is 1200 kilograms, which is good. And velocity final of the cannon which is the recoil velocity is what we're looking for 
All right, so putting these two on the other side, we're gonna get uh, negative 100 times 35, and then divide 1200 to separate it from the V final of the cannon, which is the recoil velocity. And calculator, negative 2.9 meters per second is the recoil velocity, okay? Of, uh, of the cannon. So it's negative because of the direction. Again, this is negative X, so this is positive X, so it makes sense that it's negative. And just remember that initially, this is the picture that we're looking at, all right? So not much to it. 